Uh, my name is Sebastian. I'm from Chile. Um, I'm 28 years old. And the last two years and a half, I've been traveling around the world and I have seen a lot of different stuff. And now I'm in this amazing place. Uh, well, I'm here just by chance, I would say, in the beginning, because I didn't know everything about the, pro the project and what was going on here. Uh, it's just part of my travel, you know, I was coming to Europe. Uh, I chose Denmark just uh, because it was easier to, to come here. Uh, now that I know, uh, I think for me the most important thing is about the environment, like how to how to do uh, like a sustainable way of living, and that means uh, how we grow food, how we use energy, how we reduce uh, our waste, in, and help the world in that way. Uh, well, so far, I think I have learned a lot, like, uh, and I, I've been able to see it because sometimes you know this stuff when you watch a documentary or you read a book, but it's different when you live it, when you live the experience of uh, eating organic and uh, use solar panels and actually build a biopod to grow food, which is a really important thing because it's going straight to the main um, difficult we, we face nowadays in the world, which is uh, food and energy, because are the most important things for humans to live, considering that the population is growing really fast and nowadays we don't have food for everybody. Um, because the system, the system we use, which is capitalism, is not good enough to solve these problems. Well, also, I want to say it's not only about the way you grow food or how we use energy. It's also how we change the way we think. Because in this space, also, you can learn how to living community, how to share, how to use what you have. You don't, and this is really important to, to fight against the system, which tells you a completely different thing, that you have to have more, you need to buy everything you need, and you can have three cars, you can have uh, 100 pair of shoes, or a lot of stuff that don't you actually need. So here you learn as well how to share, like, if you have one car, is enough, and we can use it between 10 people or more. And same with the clothes, like you can choose secondhand clothes and share anything we have. And I think this is a big change in, of mentality that you can do it not only in a place like this, also in, in your village with your neighbors and, and live more in community. Also, that's an important thing for feeling safe because now kind of everybody feels alone because it's an individualistic world. Uh, you take care of yourself. So if we start to live together and, and use, uh, yeah, use our minds and our hearts, you know, people is good everywhere. And when we are together, we are more powerful than when we are alone. So what I take from here now is a way, a practical way of doing things in a different, in a different form and, and actually uh, use it in your daily life. And it's not that hard how it's look. And I think in the future, this is the future. This is which is, uh, we will do in the future to, to save the world, which is quite fucked up at the moment, I think. <laughs> Uh, well, my dream, it started for me 
years ago uh, is to change the world actually. I, when I was studying, I started to get involved in politics or non-government organization to find my way of helping, but none of these uh, things were enough. So I started to travel and to learn because I thought that maybe around the world there will be more people uh, thinking about this and I could take good ideas. Mm. So now I think finally I'm doing that. Like I have met a lot of people uh, that they want a change and in this place especially I found a solution because that's what happens. Many people want the change but they don't know how and I think this is uh, in this place they have a answer for that. <laughs> Thank you. I love you. <laughs> <laughs>